Christine Hopkins, local author and Galveston expert, and I'm here to give you a quick tour of the Strand National Historic Landmark District, what we refer to as the Strand. This is the heart of our historic downtown. When you're walking through the Strand District, you're going to see these historic markers all over the district. These markers give the history of the buildings. And here's a cool fact about the Strand. Most all of these buildings predate 1900, and here's why. Between 1874 and 1900, Galveston was bustling with business, and we were transporting imported goods all over the Southwest. In 1880, we had the largest, most important wholesale houses west of the Mississippi. The Strand was considered the Wall Street of the Southwest. By 1885, Galveston was the largest city in Texas, one of the richest cities in the nation, and had more millionaires than any other city by comparable size. And during that time, Galveston was also the banking center for the state of Texas. The building behind me is formerly a bank and it now houses a restaurant. You can actually eat dinner inside the vault. And down the street at 22nd and Strand, the Galveston Art Center was also formerly a bank. Now this area is filled with locally owned shops, restaurants, and boutiques. And if you want to keep the kids entertained, you have the Galveston Island Railroad Museum, Sanger Fest Park, Haunted Mayfield Manor, and Pirates Legends of the Gulf Coast. This area is typically the center of citywide events, including one of the largest Mardi Gras celebrations in the nation, the Lone Star Biker Rally, Dickens on the Strand, Art Walk, and so much more. You'll also want to check out the Absolute Equality Public Art Installation at 22nd and Strand. This was commissioned by the Juneteenth Legacy Project, and there's a cool app called Uncover Everything, so that will explain all of the portals on this mural. Thank you for joining me for this quick tour of the Strand National Historic Landmark District located in Galveston's downtown. Remember to book your vacation rental early with Ryson Real Estate and Vacation Rentals. And remember, Ryson offers more than 250 vacation properties all over the island, including plenty of houses and condos located nearby in town and right on the seawall. Be sure to like and subscribe to our page for more walkthrough videos and all things vacationing on Galveston Island.